Now, how much does God value the human soul? What is the value of the human soul? The value is that if you place the whole world on one side of the scale and you place you, a human being on the other side of the scale, a single soul is heavier than everything in the world. Matthew 16, 26, for what is, for what is a man profited? If he gain the whole world and lose his own soul, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? This is God's own value of the human soul. God values the human soul so much. A lot of us do not know our value. And that is why we even question why would God come in human form, put on human flesh and die? That is why a lot of us do not know the weight of the sacrifice of the death of Jesus Christ. But I just want us to know that the human soul is so heavy is so costly to God and because of that for God to save the human being God had to send his only begotten son the person of Jesus Christ who is the second person in the triune God to come and die for us and when John saw Jesus Christ. Look at John 1 29. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. This is how far God goes to secure the human soul. Not with the blood of lamb, not with the blood of rams and goats and bulls and cattle, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The salvation of man is sealed with the blood of the Lamb of God is sealed with the blood of God himself. That is how far God goes to secure the human soul. God goes to lengths to secure the human soul. God doesn't joke with the human soul. If God can give us Jesus Christ to die for us, how much more will he with him give us all things? Are you in trouble? Are you giving up? Do you feel that God doesn't love you much? God loves you. Jesus loves you. And he goes to lands to protect you. Do you know how many battles God fights for you? Do you know how many things God delivers you from? Because he doesn't want you to end up in disgrace and in destruction. Do you think that God brings the gospel to you, makes you say the sinner prayers, the sinner's prayer, and then get baptized, receive the Holy Ghost, and says, okay, you can go and fight for yourself. Go and hustle your way out. No. There were lots of provision. There are depths and heights and lengths. God goes for you just to secure your soul. 